This may look like straight out of a fairy tale, but in fact this is a cemetery, and not just any cemetery, this is the largest park cemetery in the world. With 389 hectares of green space, the cemetery is even larger than the Central Park and it has almost everything a small town would need. 12 chapels, 17 kilometers of paved road, 15 ponds and even two bus lines with 24 stops. You can find all of this in the middle of Hamburg, 20 minutes away from the city center, right next to the Ohlsdorf train station. The S1 and U1 lines run here every five minutes at peak times. But that wasn't always the case. In 1873, this was far outside the city in the countryside. The rapidly growing city of Hamburg was confronted with a problem. There were many smaller cemeteries in the immediate vicinity of the city, but these did not have sufficient capacity and prevented the city from expanding. This area far outside the city was therefore purchased for a big new central cemetery. It was designed by Wilhelm Cordes and he had a vision. The cemetery shall not be a place of the dead and decay, everything should be friendly and lovely to the visitor. He aimed for an English-style park, where visitors could linger and relax while visiting their loved ones. By 1910 it was clear that the cemetery needed even more space, so the city bought a further 200 hectares of land to the east. Today a total of 36,000 trees, 235,000 graves and a variety of landscapes can be found here. Although this makes it the largest cemetery in Europe and even the largest park cemetery in the world, it is still a long way from the largest conventional cemetery in the world. This award goes to the rather dry Badi al Salam cemetery in Iraq with 5 million graves and more than double the area and is therefore only in fourth place worldwide in terms of area. Since its opening, 1.4 million funerals have taken place here. And many rich and famous people have been eternalized with elaborate tombs and generous mausoleums. You can really spend hours here and always discover something new. During the day electric buses run here on two routes every 30 minutes. But the cemetery is also an important cycling route. Cars are allowed, but there is no through route, making it one of the quietest and most relaxed places in the city. Over the years, however, there has been a strong trend towards crematation and urns obviously require less space. Some very beautiful private mausoleums are also increasingly falling into disrepair due to a lack of money. So it's open what happens to old stuff in the future. A few years ago, a public participation initiative was therefore held under the motto Old Stuff 2050. This resulted in many new ideas for a better future, a relaxation forest, fruit meadows, cafes and even the conversion of an unused chapel into a daycare center are possible approaches. So in the future this unique space could be used even more for recreation, keeping Wilhelm Scholder's vision alive. <laughs>